Yo, what the fuck is up, YouTube? YouTube, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, MySpace, wherever you watching this shit from, man. What the fuck is up? It is I, King Motherfucking Lodge here, Mr. Insomnia, his motherfucking self. Back with a vlog, man. It's been a hot minute, yo. You know what I'm saying? A definite, definite hot ass man it um let me fill you guys in what i've been doing man i've been working hell i'm on break right now to be 100 with you um a little bit of a longer break because i'm finna sparkle sparkle some shit you know what i'm saying i'm gonna spark some shit up i'm actually got some uh some mac mac one i believe that's what it's called and some wedding shatter you know what I'm saying? So to the ones that don't mix their shit, I understand. I normally don't either, but I fucked around and accidentally put my shit in the same bag. So here we are. But other than that, man, as I'm rolling up, y'all, you know what I'm saying? I just want to take the time to make this video and <clears throat> just touch down on, you know, a few little subjects and shit like that, man. You know what I'm saying? First off, I want to start off with, you know what I'm saying? Saying, like, how are y'all doing? You know what I mean? To my supporters that watch and view me, how are y'all doing? Or to anyone that's viewing me right now, you know what I'm saying? I, w I want to know how you doing, you know what I mean? Definitely share in the comment section how you feeling, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Together, you know what I mean? I want us to pray for people, you know what I mean? That That's a little less fortunate. Or pray for anybody that's trying to get their shit together or get some shit together you know what i'm saying uh, we know how this world can be out here yo we got gnats and shit out here it's crazy how right when i get over here a gnat want to come fuck with me it really is um <clears throat> got a little blood and shit falling off but yeah, man, it's, it's it's crazy, man. This world that we live in today, it makes me not want to have any kids, man, because it's just too much shit going on. Like, I feel like no one, no one's really all that safe. Like, like we want to be. Um, things change up in front of your eyes. You know what I'm saying? Like it's nothing. Um, this whole abortion ban shit right now it's pretty pretty insane man telling women they can't get abortions and shit of that nature i haven't gotten all my um info about that you know what i'm saying but for the most part i know that that's that's a very big thing going on <clears throat> and um and that's that's some shit that should be concerning to people you know what i'm saying like especially to my generation man we're, we're all rabbits yo that like the fuck you know what i'm saying if you if you are in the age group of 18 through 25 and 25 through motherfucking uh what 35 i want to say i don't know 40 i guess i just feel like if you are 18 and up my nigga period you are a hun uh, a honey you are a horny little rabbit bro you know what i'm saying because that's just what it is. Like, I, I mean, like, I'm being honest, yo. Like, I would say definitely living in the South, you know what I'm saying? Um, people be, like, pretty fast early, you know what I'm saying? Like, people be, be fucking in, like, eighth, eighth grade, seventh, eighth grade, you know what I'm saying? Me, that's just when my little hormones started kicking in, you know what I mean? Like, you know what I'm saying? That's when I'm starting to kind of wonder about shit, but... I was not ballsy, ballsy enough to to want to go fuck, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> I let all my little friends, you know what I'm saying, criticize me and clown me and shit, job on me because I was a virgin. But uh, my nigga, I did not want to lose my virginity till I hit about 16 or 17. I really didn't want to lose that shit till I was 18. But I had lost my shit, you know what I'm saying, or whatever, during that one awkward teenage summer um but besides that dog like 
the world is crazy, man. No man should be telling a woman what the fuck to do with their body, period. We're not the ones having kids. We're not the ones going through cramps and periods and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's not our lane. That's not our lane, dog. You know what I mean? So, to everyone out there, you know what I'm saying? Pray, pray for women in general because them old motherfuckers that we got in the court, in the courts, you know what I'm saying? That's supposed to be running shit for the government. They're fucking shit up. You know what I mean? YouTube, do not fucking strike me for this goddamn. All I'm doing is t talking some, some real shit, you know what I'm saying? I understand that my skin, you know what I'm saying, is dark. I'm a dark brown boy. I used to be brown, now I'm dark, man. I should never I should have never worked for them fuck people, man. Last summer. When I was plumbing, y'all. I wish I never done that. But um Real shit, dog. No man should be telling a woman what the fuck to do with their body. That shit is just crazy to even think about, like. I don't know if y'all hear them people over there yelling and shit. But, um, it's just crazy to think about, dog. like, telling a woman that, like, she can't, she can't get rid of this baby. Like, well, she didn't got molested, right? I said molested. Well, she didn't got raped, you feel me? Like, Yes, sir. This is smoking. In case y'all want to know what the fuck I'm doing. Again, I'm on break. I'm at a park. You know what I'm saying? Close by. Still trying to get all my shit so I won't have to smoke outside. You know what I'm saying? I got to get, gotta get some new wheels for sure. Until then, you know what I'm saying? My wheels are on my feet at the moment. <laughs> But, um, getting a little bit off topic, I just feel like, yo, like, the world, man, the world needs to do better, man, like, everything's already so hypersexual, hypersexualized, you feel me? <sighs> Entertainers are so sexualized is crazy when i say entertainers i mainly speak on our women entertainers because i'm a straight male you know what i'm saying women is what attracts me you know what i'm saying that's what make the pp grow but on that fucking everything is so over sexualized hyper sexualized yo like these these young entertainers, whether they're artists or actors, um, actresses, you know what I'm saying? They, at some point, it's like they're expected to play a role where they are expected to kiss somebody, you know what I'm saying? Not only just kiss, they might have like a little soft core porn scene, you know what I'm saying? Like, You might see them do something crazy, you know what I mean? And that's supposed to like relate to America's youth, you know what I'm saying? But it's just, it's, it just feels like it's not relating to the youth. Yeah, everybody does sec, uh, sexual shit, you know what I'm saying? Sexual acts, everything is natural for the most part, you feel me? But I do feel like kids are growing faster than what my 90s generation did you know what i'm saying like but it's mainly due due to social media social media has it to, to, to the point where everything's so accessible um at a quick of a dime you know what i'm saying snap your finger yo you can go you can go to twitter snap your finger go to facebook you know what i'm saying um snap your finger you can go go to pornhub anything if you go to twitter um and your parents got parental locks or some shit you know what i'm saying 
or if you're at a a place where you're not supposed to be looking at like adult content you know what i'm saying a school library or some shit like that dog school period school campus you can go to twitter and the porn is right there you got your clips you got the pages to go to for them for those uh porn stars or aspiring porn stars content creators whatever um this shit's smoking i know y'all see that smoke But yeah, you got, you got the motherfucking, you got the pages for these actresses and shit. It's just crazy, yo. Like, everything is super accessible for people. And I don't think people really grasp how, how dangerous that is for young people. I remember when I first started watching porn, my nigga, I was, I was a tiny kid, literally tiny. And what happened was I ended up getting a hold of um, my pops VCR tape. I think I was probably looking for a movie or some shit to watch one day when I was little. And um, what ended up fucking happening was, what fucking ended up happening <clears throat> was that it was a porn tape in a VCR the whole time. Why the fuck was my pops watching porn? I don't know when my mom right there i don't know people watch porn when they eat together or married or not you know what I mean? i'm not judging him necessarily on that but like nigga you know we watch we, we watch you know movies and shit in here so i don't i don't know what the fuck he had going on keep in mind this was like late 90s too um so i had to be like nothing but like two years old bro two two three two three four maybe i was in germany you feel me before i came to america but um boom I caught hold of that, you know what I'm saying? And then after that, you know what I'm saying? After the little spanky spank. After, you know what I'm saying? Don't watch that, you know what I'm saying? All that shit. I didn't watch porn for a long ass time, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't like into it, you know what I'm saying? Any kind of sexual scene that came on with my parents was around, you know, cover your eyes, watch, uh, you know what I'm saying? Go in the room, you know what I'm saying? This is too sexualized, you know what I'm saying? This is too much going on. Um, all that moaning and shit, you gotta go in the room, you know what I'm saying? So like, so like, you know what I'm saying? I understand like, I understand like the difference, you know what I mean? Like porn wasn't easy to access as a kid, I would say. If, if, if once it kind of became a little bit more accessible, it was only like through like, what on demand or some shit and then like you had to like hurry up and delete the on demand history so your parents didn't see that she was watching that shit you know what i'm saying if we was on a computer watching porn we had to delete the history hope we ain't clicking on sites that got fucking viruses you know what i'm saying not downloading no porn like you know what i'm saying like it's different it's different levels to coming up back then and coming up now and viewing porn, you know what I'm saying? Most of these teenagers, dog, they, they make OnlyFans accounts. And I'm sure they're in high school. I've been, you know what I'm saying? I've been watching some videos where people are saying that about uh, teens making OnlyFans and they're in high school. But like these girls went to the like 17, 18, bro, probably even younger than that, lying about their age on OnlyFans maybe probably using the fake, I don't know, you know what I'm saying? I don't know necessarily, but like, I just, I could just imagine in death probably that's how it go. But they're, they're making these OnlyFans accounts and these perverted ass men out here, 20 and up, out here buying their content, messaging them, you know what I'm saying? Trying to get meetups and shit. Like, the world is crazy, dog, honestly. fucking wind won't blow but um y'all yeah, really do hope that the world can change one day for the better because right now it just feels like a whole bunch of nwo type shit going on and no one's really ballsy to do anything about it no one really cares to do anything about it because you know what I'm saying? People are so used to their regular lives. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
um, no one wants to like if you make six figures right now working for the man you know what I'm saying you're not going to want to change the world up for 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 your people for the, for your people you know what I'm saying to get ahead finally you know what I mean and that could be all all colors of people you know what I mean but you you might not want to change that because if you change if you help change what's going on you're going to lose that money you know what I'm saying you're going to lose that job you're going to lose that relationship that bridge is going to be burnt you know what I mean like That's whack shit that I I don't fuck with. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like when it come down to some shit like that, dog, like, people need to, I feel like people just need to be real, dog. Like, and it's like, yeah, you could say they being real by saying like, look, this is what's going on. We, we fight for world change, world peace, and all this other shit. We'll lose this. I can't feed my family off of off of love. I can't feed my family off of friendships and shit. You know what I'm saying? I understand that. You feel me? Gas, like let me say, your gas don't run off of friendship. It run off of gasoline. You know what I'm saying? How you get that gasoline? Your money. You know what I mean? So. So y'all, I definitely get it. You feel me? I'm not mad at that. What I'm just saying though is that the world just needs, it just needs somebody, bro, who's really gonna be tough enough to really do it. I mean, it can't just be one person. It's got to be a a fucking unit. You know what I'm saying? It's got to be a group effort. I don't know. But, um... I'm kind of running out of shit to talk about at this point. So, I'm going to end this video here. I'm going to start a new video. You know what I'm saying? Um, I hope y'all take away some good things from this video, man. You know what I'm saying? I just want to say y'all go out there and educate yourself, man, about this um, this whole thing about banning abortions for women. And I want to try to educate yourselves on like just world change, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Like, what is real change out here? But that's all about really got to say on this one. So, like I said, if you know better, do better. God bless. Much love.